hope you're well welcome to my channel if you've not been here before it's where I talk about twin flames and these are the readings for February 2021 by sign you can look at these readings um, as a whole so they've all got advice that's worth listening to no matter which sign you are um, you could if you wanted to um, break it down by your Sun moon rising sign or where you've got a strong aspect on your chart to a particular sign so you might find that some are more beneficial than others um, to you at this current time but like I say you can listen to all of them if you want it's all good advice my guides talk through me about everything twin flame that's all they talk about and um, so when they talk it's all valuable for whoever's listening because it you know depending where you're at your process so just to say that so you got like probably three hours of listening if you wanted it and just to set it in a couple of videos this year is 2121 mirror numbers with 21st century and this is about reunions this year so that's what's coming up um so always just focus on vibration because vibration is where they um is the core of the whole thing it is the focus of the whole thing that you're going through it's just to know that with everything and um, what else did I want to say um, there's a video I've put out about um, my channel what's about if you want to watch that I'm going to put one out about the readings that I do shortly hopefully soon um, I've got uh, questions that people have given me on some of the readings I put out recently and I'm going to be doing videos on those soon as well so if it hasn't come up yet it's just because I haven't got time, had time yet, but I'm doing all the questions that come up. If you've got a question, you can post it below in the comments and I'll do a video on it if I've got time or if it's really easy, I'll just answer the question. Uh, general questions only, obviously not on personal stuff because that would mean doing a personal reading. Um, and what else? And I've put out my, I have a Facebook page which I uh, hid for a while and I've opened that up again and that's um, if you were a liker of that you'll you're still liking it because everyone's still on there that was so um, just to be aware that I'm going to be posting on there little bits and pieces occasionally things that come up that I just don't really warrant a video and um, but I've got to it's up and it's it's viewable but I haven't dusted it off so it does need a bit of polishing up so there's nothing on there right now at the moment I don't think but um much to look at right now but I'm going to get that all sorted out as well so that's back up and running properly so that's just it hope you enjoy the readings and um, like I said if you wanted to book a personal reading um, or session the details are in the description box below where you can contact me about that okay lots of love take care bye so, so this is your reading for February 2021 Twin Flames Virgo 2021 February um, all eyes on you this month Virgo this is what they're saying I can see you on the stage and everybody looking at you so um, and in regard to that they are kind of saying do not do um, an all singing all dancing version of you just because people are watching you or just because they want you to so they're a little bit like the one for Capricorn it's, uh, it's like you've got to look after yourself this month um, I do feel you want will want to be centre stage it's almost like you've got a story to tell or a song to sing um, and then they're saying just remember that it's, um, you know, just remember that you're not there for to be all singing or dancing, basically. All right, let's have a look. Let's see what else they're saying. So it might be for some Virgos, they're being expected to entertain a lot of people in some way. Um... Right, we've got Eight of Pentacles coming out, work, star, healing, Ace of Swords, communication, 
Six of Cups, Reunion, Fool, New Journey, Empress, which is Rebirth, High Priestess, Priestess, which is Higher Self, Source Energy, and Page of Pentacles, which is Form in the Physical World, New Things, Things Taking Form, Ace of Pentacles, which is Form in the Physical World, New Things Taking Form. And underneath we've got the Hermit, which is Wisdom. So your new journey, you've got a new journey this month, because it's right at the middle. It's something to do with Wisdom. Virgos are very wise anyway. <laughs> um, so, and the, you know, nine represents Virgo, because it's the ninth month, it's September. Um, is that right? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> October, November, yeah. No, 10, 11, 12, yeah, it is. So... <laughs> Um, so yeah so you've got a new journey this month it's around wisdom wisdom gained wisdom shared you've got here star healing for more than one person things that are showing up in the physical world so it can be healing with a twin you know because that healing occurs when the physical um, the healing is all through the process but a physical reunion point full healing occurs from then so you got that showing up but work in the physical world so it's new things to do with work i feel in the physical world things that are communicating from your higher self so it could be that you're putting your voice out there in some way from your higher self you know and communicating the wisdom of the journey that you've been on something like that and then we've got the Six of Cups, which is reunion energy, and the Empress, which is birthing energy. So it's like you are birthing reunion. So I would say to Virgos, don't forget that you're birthing your reunion. So you have got to be centre stage for yourself and not for other people. And not putting um, anything else before your birth, the birth of your reunion. All right, so you've got to put, you, just look after yourself. Let's look at the full dark to light okay so for some virgos are going to find themselves finishing the battle of the dark and the light which is what this is five of swords it's the ending of the battle of the dark and the light when you arrive at that point and you feel so good that you're not purging anymore um you know there's a whole different life even in that so before you even get into your physical reunion the feeling of not purging anymore once you stop purging is like you've been given a whole new life and it feels so good but just remember, you still have got your reunion to birth. So even though it feels really good and you feel like you can maybe do a million things in a day and you've got so much energy, all this positive energy, um, just be aware that you are still in process. Even though you don't feel in process because you're not purging anymore, you are still in process. Hermit. So that's wisdom as well, right? And then we've got four of cups underneath that as well, which is... Um, that thing that is just, again, hasn't arrived yet. Because the other four things, three things have. So you've got your masculine and feminine energy in alignment. You're at zero point. You're connected to source. So all feels good, right, in the trinity. And there's one more thing got to come. What's that? That's the twin. It's coming from out of the blue. And it's also contained in the trinity, but it is not you in physical form. It's someone else in physical form. So you're still birthing that. And that's the wisdom too. Um, if you're a pregnant lady, like we said to Capricorns, you put yourself first. You don't put other people first. You put yourself first. Eight of Pentacles, head over heart. So dealing still with energy that is um, of the egoic perspective, unleavening the heart revealing the heart in what way is this to do with virgo this month the work of that manifesting ace of wands into the physical dimension to aces again so manifesting heart energy into the physical dimension is the work so that is also the reunion because heart energy manifested is your twin ace of swords communication energy drawing to you devil and sun, good energy, high priestess. So 
like I said, you're going to feel really good this month. You're going to feel connected to source. That's what that is. Really good connection to source. You're going to feel really charged. Well, you are a battery. You are a living battery because you're filled with energy. So like somebody's charged you up at the charging point and you're going to feel ready to go. Right? That energy that you've got inside you, that's that ready to go energy that is about the union coming in. So that's how it feels inside you when union is about to come in. It feels like you're ready to go because the feeling of being ready to go is a feeling inside the mas masculine of being ready to go that you feel coming through you. It's the same thing in each twin. It's the feeling is the same. Healing, the star relationship. Full healing occurs when the relationship comes in. And you, some other sign had this, I think, almost exactly the same. So it's like um, you've got to remember full healing occurs after the reunion comes in. Three things again. Just look at what you've got going on. Is there three things that you've got that are still bothering you physically? And they could be this you could have like a throbbing little toe. <laughs> and that could be one of the things. And then you could have a itch in your left ear, more likely the right, because it's the masculine side. In fact, they're more likely all on the the right side of the body because it's the masculine side. So an itchy right ear, a throbbing little toe, and maybe something else, some other curious thing that you are um, still can't quite clear, right? Because these things are the birth, the three things. You have to have the birth, the birthing pain. But you're not pregnant, so you're not going to have an actual birthing pain. You're going to have pain, because birth is pain. So look at what's still not cleared. And it could be long-term things that still haven't cleared. And just know that those things are still part of you until they clear when the reunion comes in. So in that respect, as well, they're representing the pregnancy. So you have to look after yourself. And for you to feel good, that's feeling good on the form that shows up. The feeling good of you is about the form showing up. So your twin turns up when you're feeling really good. So you've got to put yourself first because you've got to make sure you feel good. And your physical body is part of that feeling good. So don't wear yourself out, Virgo. That's what it's about this month, February. Do not wear yourself out because you feel so good that you feel like you could push a rock uphill. Twin flames coming in, six of cups. Because you feel, will feel filled with source before reunion comes in. You feel like Samson. I think we talked about that earlier. You know Samson um, in the Bible and he was really strong and then he was shackled. And they put him in chains and um, she cut off his hair, right, Delilah, she took off, cut off his hair and he lost all his energy. And I can't remember it exactly, I can see the film actually, the movie <laughs> that I must have watched when I was a kid. And, um, and then he ends up in the temple and I think maybe his hair's grown back or something and he gets all this strength again and he just pushes at the wall of the temple and he and the, he brings the temple down on everybody. It's a bit like that at the end of this process. It's like you go from being in shackles, the enslavement of the dark energy, right, with all them cutting your hair off, and at the end you emerge and you're in that temple of oneness, right, with source, and you've got source filling you up and you feel so great and you feel like you could push that temple down. Um, but don't, because you still need to conserve the energy for the birth, is what they're saying. And there is Queen of Swords and you knowing that in that. So Virgo, you know, you're, an, you're a sign of um, a sign of many qualities, strange qualities, you know, that you can connect into source and that you can also operate from a very logical, rational perspective and a very down to earth perspective. So just do that in relation to your twin flame connection and know that you've got to maintain your physical framework for the reunion to um, manifest through you. Yeah. There. I'm going to leave it at that for Virgos. Lots of love. Take care. Bye.